Are your clients Q4 ready? That's what we're going to be talking about today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. So at the time of recording, Q4 is upon us. That crazy season with Facebook ads where it's super competitive, but also super lucrative. So what do you need to do now to help ensure that one, your client has the right expectations for Q4 in 2021, and also so that you and your client are best prepared for a successful Q4? Well, we're gonna dig into four things today in this episode. First one is communication. You are going to need to communicate with your clients and set expectations. As I mentioned, uh, 2021 Q4, it's going to be an extra crazy time. Last year, 2020, coming out of pandemics and such, it was, you know, really high CPMs there as well. We are seeing just as high, if not higher CPMs this year. Now, because of all the iOS changes, Facebook losing data, us losing tracking. It has been a very interesting time for ad managers. So communicating that with your clients in case you haven't already, which I'm sure you probably have. So helping them to set expectations. Let them know that this is, you know, a Q4 like never before. <laughs> that could be a good thing to put on a shirt. It's a Q4 like never before. Um, we've got high CPMs happening now as we speak. We've got Facebook having lost a lot of tracking, a lot of information that's coming through. We can't see information coming through as well in Ads Manager, so we don't know what best to optimize for. It's going to be very competitive. A lot of the um, big, big buyers out there spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a day on their, you know, black. Friday sales. So making sure your clients are aware that it's a very different Q4 this, this year than any other year. You have high CPMs going on. So you're anticipating it to be a very competitive time in the Facebook algorithms. Okay. So expect high cost per clicks, high CPMs. It doesn't mean that you should run away and not do Facebook ads. Your audience is still going to be on Facebook. They are still going to be buying, but how can you make that more profitable? We're going to talk about that later. Okay. So communicating with your clients, setting expectations, even if they've had a great, you know, Q3, or they have had a great Q4 in 2020, 2020 or earlier, this one is likely going to be quite different. But assure them that you are on it, that you are going to be doing your best. You're going to be in there optimizing, making the changes as necessary as the data comes in to help them get the best results they can. OK, but setting the correct expectations, because I know a lot of ad managers, you know, have clients with evergreen funnels or they're doing a launch and they've said, oh, but the launch back in July, I got, you know, the cost per lead was half the price. Yes, things are very different from July to now. Things can be very different from one week to another week. So set those expectations up with your client. Let them know that it's very different, very competitive and uh, it's not a reason to stop Facebook ads but you're going to be all over it and helping them to just have realistic expectations. Okay, so number two is uh, helping them to start building their audiences. That's going to be super valuable for them as we go into Q4 so that you can keep bringing audiences in top of funnel, doing some warm audience building and then nurturing and retargeting. If you don't have a retargeting sequence that's nurturing your audience, so I'm not just talking about people who have opted in and here's a seven day retargeting window to come back and buy. If you don't have a nurturing retargeting sequence, you're leaving money on the table. That is super valuable to help set up your client with their ideal client to build awareness of what they do and how they help people to establish their um, authority in the marketplace and can continue to build affinity with their ideal client so that when their ideal client is ready to purchase, they are the one that is front and center of mind. And that's where my client attraction code uh, training does that exactly. So if you don't have that, there'll be a link here. You can go over and grab that 
get that incorporated into your clients so they can use that to bring in existing audiences you know people who have been engaging with them on Facebook on who are um, on their email list bring them all in as well as bringing in top of funnel cold traffic to start warming them up so that when they're making that offer in Q4 they have this beautiful warm audience who knows exactly what they do how they can help them and yes it's time for them to I want what you've got okay I want you to help me with whatever it is that um, that the service that they provide so warming up audiences now readiness as we go through Q4 super valuable and there's some of the cheapest campaigns that you'll be able to run big bang for your buck with getting thousands of people in every day into their funnel number three is up to start list building if they're not list building now start list building get people onto their list so that when they send out um, emails for all the sales then they've got people on their list already ready to buy because we don't want to just have to spend on Facebook ads all the time start spending getting them in now but then you don't have to rely on your ads to actually make the sale you know in Q4 or whatever time it is they can just send out an email list make money straight away without worrying about are my ads feeding out or how much is my CPM what is the cost per click there's people who are on their list and they you know <laughs> they can be tapped into send those emails out and make sales now when it comes to building a list super important then that your client has email sequences that is going to be nurturing that audience don't just get them on a list send them the automation of five six or seven emails have weekly emails at least that is going out to them that is going to be great value giving them more information and building up their relationship and with those emails that they send out it's always great to have at the bottom if you have any questions hit reply so that people will click reply ask further questions and that will also help your deliverability along the way so make sure your client if they're list building which is a great idea they're continuing to nurture their audience with regular emails now with that list building as well that's where you can also get back in front of them with Facebook ads because only about 30% of the people are going to continue to open those emails that means there's 70% of the contacts on their email list are not going to continue to open up their emails some of them 50 um, 60 no 50 or 40% may never even open an email considering you've paid for them to get on the list what a waste so bringing that audience into the nurturing campaign as well where they may not see the emails but you can get the emails in front of them through retargeting is super valuable as well okay so that's um getting your client to do list building sending out nurture sequences and also bringing that audience into your retargeting stack okay into that nurture sequence and then number four is consider building a new funnel just for Facebook ads if they haven't done that already with all the issues of tracking that's going on yes you can use Google Analytics hires wicked reports all that kind of stuff but at the end of the day we're still not exactly sure what's coming in via organic means what's coming in through Facebook ads so um, there's always going to be discrepancies so one of the best ways for you to do it is to have a funnel that is just dedicated to your Facebook and Instagram ads that way you have the best chance of identifying actual numbers sure someone may see the ad they may share a link with someone else that's fine but still it's coming in via an ad that they've seen they've seen the ad seen the link maybe shared that but that's going to be your best friend when it comes to tracking especially here in Q4 this year so if your client can get them now to start building that funnel chances are it will be a fairly simple process it'll be a duplication of the funnel they may need to um, hook up some extra tags or campaigns or whatever it is but that's going to do both of you um, a big favor as we go through Q4 they put this ad spend in and then you'll be able to go into the back end of the funnel and see okay you know we spent a hundred dollars today on the ads and we see that we actually got you know 20 people opting in great so that was five dollar leads okay or whatever it may be there so a new funnel just for Facebook ads would be 
your best friend and your client's best friend. So how to go about all this, getting your client ready for Q4? Well, it would be great for you to book in a strategy session. So whether that is part of their package or you may want to choose to have that as an extra. Where you can say let's get ready for q4 i've got some planning sessions available um, normally that would be like a thousand dollars for 90 minutes but because you're an existing client i'm happy to do that for you for 800 dollars or 750 whatever fits in with your pricing model okay if it's part of your agreement with your contracts then that's fine you just uh, reach out to them say let's book in your you know your quarterly strategy session and let's plan out q4 start doing it now because your clients may initially think I'm not going to do anything for Q4. No, it's all fine. It's all fine. But then they'll be caught up in all the Q4 excitement and they'll say to you like two weeks out, let's do a Black Friday promo. And you're going, oh my gosh, I'm snowed under with doing this, 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 this for everybody else. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. And you're up all night loading campaigns. That's not what we want. So let's talk to our clients, be proactive, get them booked in for a strategy session. Talk to them about Q4 plans, set expectations, and look at building up their warm audiences, putting in those nurturing campaigns, doing list building, and uh, setting up a new funnel for them. So I hope you found that valuable. Take action so that you as an ad manager don't get caught out with your Q4 craziness, that you set the expectations with your clients appropriately, and you've had the opportunity to have a discussion with them so that everything is planned out so that it doesn't all come back to you at the 11th hour to suddenly be loading up campaigns. So that's it for today. My name's Jodie and if you would love to get more tips about running ads for clients and the nitty gritties of Facebook ads, head over and join my free group Ad Manager Adventures over in Facebook. There'll be a link here with the video. So that's it for today. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.